All right, well, I've done plenty of showing the plugin actually being in use, but I haven't shown the plugin itself. So just as a reminder, this phaser extract, the phaser ingest, the single, the call single line, these three macros are all using uh, Lua code that is referenced in the plugin that I mentioned at the beginning of this video series. So I just wanted to show uh, quickly what that plugin does. Um, first off, if we just do a normal click on it, um, it will give us the options for uh, importing the macros and importing the appearances that have been in use for uh, what you've been seeing so far. So if I just hit import macros, it's going to import at the first available macro in the current data pool. So if I hit continue, we see that it has imported those uh, 10 macros for us. And same with appearances and I'll show you why the appearances matter. So if you edit this, you'll have a few less pieces on the version you'll see. Uh, you're just gonna wanna edit the very first component that says uh, user config and entry point. The rest of these are not stuff that you're going to want to mess around with. So if I hit edit on that, and we just scroll up to the top here, there's not a whole lot to configure. So we have our base name prefix, uh, this is what gets appended at the very beginning. Uh, so when we do our uh, extract operation, it adds, in this case, I've just left it as just a little underscore just so the naming is showing some kind of system of that this is actually just a part of something else. Um, originally I had like base underscore and then whatever the recipe line name had been. You can tweak that however you want. I don't think it's going to be a it's not really a huge detail. Whoops. Uh, next in line are the appearances that it uses. So when you extract that, that base preset from the recipe preset, you noticed that it uses a blue appearance. This is where you can change that. Just put the name of the appearance you would like for it to use in that situation. Um, and then the appearance when the recipe is deleted. The reason for that, as I mentioned in the things that can go wrong video, um, when I, when the ingest process happens, what is happening is this preset is being copied back into this location and every line that was referencing it goes from referencing this preset externally back to referencing this recipe line. After that happens, there's a, a lingering effect in MA's memory in the background that can last usually less than a second uh, where it thinks that something is still referencing this. So instead of deleting it immediately and always getting an error message saying that, hey, something is still being referenced, I have it just put that red appearance on so you can see the action happened. Um, and just to demonstrate what happens when we don't, do that. I don't know if it'll actually let me update values because it's an external file. But if I ingest this, oh, it actually didn't give it to me that time. Well, it has frequently done so. Maybe I need to be in session. Um, anyways, well, isn't that isn't that nice? Anyways, I would leave that value defaulted to one. This is the amount of time it'll wait before performing the delete. You can drop it to zero if you like, but if you start seeing the issue, you know what to tweak. And that's it. That's all of our configuration settings, and that's everything that uh, tweaking the plugin uh, does or using the plugin does. So not a whole lot to using that one. It's mostly just calling on the macros and tapping in the right place.